The Honourable Member for Rossmere. Madam Speaker, my colleagues, Manitoba has a long tradition of welcoming refugees and newcomers in our province. And certainly in my past career, I saw firsthand how welcoming and supportive Manitobans are of newcomers to our community. In this first budget as Manitoba's new government, rather than following the tradition of new shoes for the finance minister, we followed the Manitoba values of generosity and inclusiveness. Madam Speaker, I am, un I am aware the Minister of Education and Training also shares the values of generosity and inclusiveness. And through you, Madam Speaker, I would like to hear his thoughts on the decision of our finance minister to provide new shoes to a refugee family as a symbol of our new government's generosity and inclusiveness. The Honourable Minister of Education and Training. Thank you, Madam Speaker, and I'd like to thank the member from Rossmere for that question. Generosity and inclusiveness and compassion are always, have always been values that Manitoba appreciated. Madam Speaker, our province leads the country in newcomer resettlement, with nearly 3,000 Syrian newcomers slated to settle in Manitoba before the end of this year. I am particularly proud of our finance minister, who began today with a different tradition, buying a new pair of shoes for a deserving family, demonstrating those val values of generosity, inclusiveness. These values guide our government as we introduce a budget later today, and over the next four years, we work to make Manitoba Canada's most improved province. Yeah. Yeah.